Listen to this thing purr. What a fantastic little motorcycle. I just got off the 754. I felt like a giant boat compared to this thing. I love the handlebars on these. I'm not one for that custom style with the step seat and everything. I love this traditional um, handlebar style, lower bars. It just feels like they're just in the right spot. So and the color of this thing, the blue, the green gauges and blue paint, just a fantastic classic motorcycle. A lot of classic bikes I ride, like some of the vintage uh, bikes that uh, you know, weren't that good when they were new. You can see why Harley Davidson and Triumph struggled to compete against these bikes in the 70s. They sold these like hotcakes. Fantastic, it's fun to ride. motorcycling this is the bike you want right here investment quality machine with a low investment cost to get started it's only going to go up in value zero risk proposition there's not many out there most of them that are nicer than this are in museums and that's where this one's going until it goes to its new home job in the world absolutely what a great way to start off my Monday just took a nice ride on a crisp fall day on this Honda CB 554 absolutely stunning stunning machine candy sapphire blue original paint job shines like the day it came out of the showroom and uh, I, I just met this bike this summer at the uh, Rice-O-Rama show in Massachusetts it was in the show on display with the other Hondas and uh, man it, it was like a moth to a flame when I saw it I was like, wow look at this original beautiful paint bike and uh, it had me at hello. I talked to the owner, I gave him my card, I said, when you're ready to sell it, call me. And we bought it and we've played with it for a little while. We've done nothing to the bike mechanically because it doesn't need anything. It starts up and runs perfectly. Um, the uh, previous owner had gone through the whole thing, went through the carbs and everything, and everything works beautifully. Every light, every switch, every horn starts up, fires, runs great, shifts to the gears, and it runs like a brand new motorcycle as far as I can see. Um, the uh, bike comes with not only a title, but the original factory from the dealership uh, warranty card from 1976 and the bill of sale from February 11th, 1977. It's a Valentine's Day present to himself when he bought it and kept it for his whole life and just passed it on. Uh, it was an original owner bike. He sold it to our friend who we met at Rice-O-Rama uh, with the only request is that he kept it stock and restore it, you know, clean it up, make it perfect, which he did. So. Um, like I said, we've done nothing on this bike. This, this bike has had no touch-up paint on it that I can see anywhere. Uh, the original tank paint is in beautiful shape. The original decals are intact. The side covers look beautiful. Uh, the chrome is excellent. doesn't appear to have uh, anything other than the normal patina of a 50-year-old motorcycle. There's no pitting on the front fender here. Uh, it's in really nice shape. Look at that. Uh, i got a couple of raindrops on there um, for my little ride, but... Uh, the chrome on the original exhaust looks good. It's original stock exhaust. Uh, the original shocks look good. The turn signals, uh, I don't think the bike has been dropped on this side ever. Uh, there's no indication of that. The pegs, everything is mint. It has a kickstarter. If you want to press your buddies, you can kickstart it if the battery ever dies. Uh, the fr original fork books, boots look great. Coming around this side, I did notice a nick on the uh, clutch lever. Tiny, tiny nick right there. 
And a little bit on the on the foot peg. Believe it or not, his dog actually chewed on the foot peg. He had a German Shepherd who was teething, and he chewed on the foot peg a little bit. No big deal. If you don't like it, you can buy a foot peg on eBay for 20 bucks. The rubbers. The rubber, just the rubber. Yeah. Uh, there's a little tiny nick on the turn signal lens right here. Um, and, a, and the original factory seat has a slight on the, on the seam right here has a slight crack in it, so he put a little tape on to keep it from spreading. But other than that, she's 100% original. Kenny, did you notice any defects on the bike anywhere? Okay, so look at the tank. Pretty much impeccable. There is a small ding. On the oh, I didn't even notice that. Okay, there's a tiny, tiny ding. You got to look at it from a weird angle to see it on the top of the tank. It looks like he uh, might have dropped something on there in the garage or something. Yeah. Um. So Kenny did mention to me, but I haven't seen it on the bottom. Oh, here it is on the bottom of the pipe. There's a tiny little rust hole right here, which you could have that patched, welded. I'm sure. Um, it's uh, doesn't affect the performance at all. There's a better photo of that in the auction here. So that that is the original exhaust from '76 the Super Sport Four. Rear fender looks good and straight. Um, newer tires. Oh, it's got yeah new new rear tires on it or newer rear tires. These aren't the original. I take it. What brand are these? These are. A IRC Grand High Speed GS11 rear tire. It's got 80% tread left on it. Front tire looks uh, like Still new. Nubs, Still got the nubs on it. So brakes work beautifully. Um, all the fluids have been recommissioned by the previous owner. Uh, has a new battery in it, and it's ready to roll. So original owner, stunning candy sapphire blue 554 it's a little smaller than the 750 no less beautiful than the 750 super sport and surely to go up in value just as that bike has still has original factory decals on the on the chain guide over here look at this right over here and uh the badges look great um i don't have anything else really to tell you about it other than see a stunning original bike kenny would you like to add anything yeah we can get the bike shipped very affordably so shoot me an ebay message with your postal code for a quote um we just sold a 76 cb 550 super sport that one was the orange color um cosmetically i think it was a it was a, a smidge off this one i think this is a, a bit nicer cosmetically the the, 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 color. the the blue colors off the charts um that orange the sunrise orange color that one sold for 37.80 we also sold a 76 cb 750 Super Sport that went for sixty-five fifty at auction here on here, eBay. Look underneath the seat here. It looks like it looks like a brand new motorcycle underneath here. This is something when you buy a bike that's you know somebody put lipstick on a pig. You look. This is where you look underneath the seat and, and you can you can tell. This looks like a brand new seat. It has the uh, registration compartment underneath here with a previous registration in here and also it has the original owner's manual. Um, can you let me pull in a? I'm gonna fire it up and write it in. To the in addition to the manual like i said i have the um warrant original warranty registration card from 1977 february 12th the day after he purchased it uh the original menard and holmberg invoice for the bike when it was brand new uh, it was 1495 dollars um we paid uh, a multiple of that for this bike uh so i guess it was a good investment the um original invoice and the title so you have no problem registering this bike um, I believe there's a previous registration under the seat also so good luck bidding on this bike it is a classic Honda that's destined to go up in value unlike a new bike that drops in value this bike is going up in value it's better than money in the stock market so um, definitely money in the bank it's a piece of artwork you can look at every day it's got the 
Kenny, could you come up close on the paint and see, show them the, the metal flake in there? Yes, they've got a couple good shots outside. And the, the factory badges have a gold pinstripe around the 554 black. So you get the gold, black, and blue. Stunning. In my opinion, the best color of the 750. Of the 76 7 550 super sport so good luck bidding on the bike i'll show them the gauges too the gauges are beautiful on this thing sometimes these get like all worn out looking and stuff from sun painted same set of ga gauges on the other 76 super sport models it's the green green and it's, it works nice with the blue stunning classic that's gorgeous and untouched up it's all original good luck bidding on it and god bless america